I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make AEW's 200th episode of Dynamite and Pro Wrestling Majestic again. Mm. The show was there. I like the entrance. The main event was fine. And that's being really nice. The entrance was cool. And they tried to have the same vibe, but are we joking here? Like, like seriously, this was your follow-up? To the first Dynamite? Jesus Christ. How about dropping ratings, dropping records in every way, shape, or form? How about we address that? No? It's all Wembley? <laughs> of course it is. I can almost guarantee you there's something wrong there. But let's talk about our first match, which was Chris Jericho and Konosuke Takeshka against Sammy Guevara and Daniel Garcia. This was your opening match. Jericho, I believe, was the world champion at this point. Sammy Guevara took on Cody Rhodes, and Daniel Garcia was doing something. Konosuke wasn't even involved. By the way, what the fuck is going on with this picture? He looks like he aged 30 years. Seriously. God. He actually looked better earlier. And man, they fluffed Jericho. I think they, like, face-swapped them. Good lord. Jericho ain't fucking 29 anymore, and Konosuke isn't 70. God, this match was just... It was fine. I actually did like the ending, though. Where Don Callis hit, I think it was Garcia for the win. For the heels to win. Essentially breaking up the Jericho Appreciation Society, which is Hesto Cristo, thank God. But was it a fine way to start off the 200th episode of Dynamite? Was there anything special here? No. I'll be nice. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Okay. Jack Perry and Jerry Lynn face to face. Jerry Lynn cannot wrestle, period, end of story. So they brought in Rob Van Dam. And if you're thinking here in your mind, oh my god, that's a great choice. Why? No, seriously. Why? The match is next week. Rob Van Dam is popular. But he's not going to have any follow-up after this. So why? Why not have a new star, a fresh star? Didn't Rob Van Dam have a moan a couple of years ago about all of his brain injuries and forgetfulness? This is not going to be the Rob Van Dam that you know. This is not going to be the Rob Van Dam that you love from 2002. And I should know... I love Rob Van Dam. He was an inspiration to me to get into the wrestling business. But this is not him. This was such a weird waste of absolute time other than the quick, cheap pop. I'm going to give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up only. You know why? Because that's the truth. Anything goes. Once again, why? Why? Like, seriously, is it nostalgia? Is it, oh, three originals and an anything goes whatever sandwich? Trent Beretta won. Yeah. Trent Beretta won. God, I hate these dumbass throwback and non canon shows. It bothers me immensely. It always has and it always will. Wrestling is always forward progress, unless it's a special. And a special is not continuity with Raw, SmackDown, Dynamite, Collision, Rampage, fucking NXT, MLW Fusion. None of it. None of it makes sense in those contexts because wrestling is always a forward-progressing show. You will never go backwards, and it will never work going backwards. And this was clear here. Trent Beretta did some scary-ass spots right on his fucking head, right on his goddamn neck, and nobody cared. I hate this company for doing this. It was a paradigm shift, counter-whatever, for Trent Beretta to win. What a colossal waste of time and a colossal waste of years off of their career. I'm going to give this an Orange Cassidy thumbs fucking down. And that's being really nice. Oh my god. Okay. This goddamn show set up the main event for All In. And you would think, if you wanted to be smart here, you would have done MJF, CM Punk, title for title, because CM Punk mentioned the real world's champion, right? That didn't happen. 
MJF gave this title shot to Adam Cole. That's your main event. That is your main event for All In. And every person, every 70,000 people who bought this ticket for All In was royally screwed, period. Tell me they're not. Tell me they're not. We already had the match. It was a good match. We already had the match. Why do it again? Why not title for title, undisputed champion, MJF CM Punk? And I get it. We did have that match too. But this one has another elevation of importance. Are we going to get that? No, of course not. God, this company is stupid. And this whole segment is basically a middle finger to everybody who bought this show prematurely. You got screwed with a capital S. Thumbs down and a fuck you. In another waste of time, we have secondary promotion elite taking on, well, the former WWE, WWF wrestler Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, and Satnam Singh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the state of the elite. Was it worth it? I mean, I guess it was. It was daddy's money who's paying for their contracts. Of course it was worth it. If you think Tony Khan is a billionaire there, you're fucking lying to yourself because you know that he's not. He's on daddy's money. This is daddy's promotion. Dixie Carter, 2.0. And the elite sold themselves out to the second promotion. Oh, by the way, it was a one-week angel for the win. This match was embarrassing and stupid, and it gets a thumbs down and a fuck you. For the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. Are, is this how we're doing this? We have Ozzy Open taking on Io Del Vikingo and Commander. Why? Why are we wasting our time? Was, was there any promo for, you know, Ring of Honor before? No, of course not. They think this is it. How are those numbers going? Oh, wait, you don't have to give us numbers. You just, you just want us to trust you at face value. Piss off. Show me numbers. I want to see numbers for All In. I want to see numbers for UK ratings compared to WWE because that's what Tony Khan referenced. And I want numbers for Honor Club. Show it. Show it. Or else I'm not going to believe you. This is a failure. This is a failure on every level. Even though the match was fine, it was a nothing sandwich. Coriolis for Aussie Open to win. How was that signing, guys? Good job. Thumbs down and fuck you. Ooh, I kind of like that thumbs down fuck you thing. This is your main event. Tony Storm in her first actual AEW Women's World Champion reign against Hikaru Shida. Yeah, her first reign was interim up until like the last defense. And that's how it's going to be. She is not a two-time women's champion. She is a one-time women's champion. Get the fuck over it. Tell me if I'm telling lies. Was it interim? You can retroactively say it wasn't interim. You can't. That's not how this works. I actually like this main event. Soraya finally returned. Hikaru Shida finally took the title off of a no-nothing title reign. And a feel-good moment. Hikaru Shida actually elevated this women's champion during the darkest times in wrestling. She did. Period. End of story. And Tony Storm was doing absolutely nothing with his title. Actually, half of the time, I actually forgot that she was champion at all. Thank God. It was a roll-up for the win. Thank God. Dumb ending, but thank God. Let me know what you thought about this AEW Dynamite. Did you like it? I'll tell you why you're wrong. But also subscribe to the channel wherever you're watching this on. Become a patron at patreon.com forward slash mpwma. There are some cool perks on there. Get a hat. All the links will be either in the description or in the bio. And as always, be majestic.